just speak to the fact that you don't allow people into the country who are trying to come here legally, who are trying to do something that in the case of Novak Djokovic generates millions and millions of dollars of, of revenue for vendors and for you know TV rights and everything else. And if you are one of the almost 5 million, I mean, we talked about this number yesterday, just so everyone understands, it's about 5 million people who have come into the United States illegally since Joe Biden came into office. Let's put this into, into perspective. For about the last 20 years, we have been told that roughly 11 million people, certainly the last decade, 11 million people are in the United States illegally. Nobody who's coming into the country illegally right now under Biden has any intention of leaving, nor are they being, being yes. made to leave. We have probably, in two years of Joe Biden being president, up the illegal population in this country by 50 percent, give or take. I got to give credit, Buck. We talked yesterday a lot about the disaster that's taking place at our southern border. And to me, Blake Masters should be able to win in Arizona. Carrie Lake should be able to win the governor's race but to a large degree, just by hammering the disaster that's occurring on our border. Certainly, Greg Abbott's going to whip Beto uh, down in Texas, and I hope many of these uh, uh, Republican candidates down along the border, like Myra Flores, are going to have a lot of success as well. But what is crazy, and I got to give credit to our, our guy, Peter Ducey, who just continues to light up Corrine Jean-Pierre. She's not, he's not the only person lighting her up. Buck, Corinne Jean-Pierre, worst communicator in the White House since. Can you think of a worse communicator than Corinne Jean-Pierre standing at that podium? She is unbelievably inept at her job. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who is the guy that there was a sort of a sweaty guy under, was it Bush? Or was it on? I can't even remember now. Or, uh, I'm the original Bush or the or Bush Part Two? Bush Bush Part Two. Was it Scott? Was it Scott McClellan? Was that the guy's name? Does that sound right? I can't. I can't even remember all the press secretaries. But yeah, this is the weakest press secretary performance I have seen in quite some time. The things that she doesn't. By the way, know. I nailed it. Even when I thought I didn't. Nail. He was former White House press secretary under the Bush administration from 2003 to 2006. Bam. He always looked a little he always looked a little sweaty to me, a little well, nervous. So poor guy's probably driving around, getting the morning errands in, like hasn't heard his He's name. Probably in years. a really nice guy. I just, then you just know, that's... off the top rope, Buck just wipes him out. You know, he was he was going to get coffee for the wife. He was tuning in. He's like, Man, I can't wait to hear what the latest is. And then out of nowhere, just a uh, the Jimmy Superfly Snooka. Uh, yeah. From the corner. It's probably there like, yeah, Buck, you're sweaty. That stupid hair keeps your head too hot. <laughs> uh, so, Corinne Jean-Pierre, we've got a couple of cuts here, I think, um, that we'll play for you during the course of the first hour. But I want you to hit this one. We've been asking the question, Buck, you're going, did you go to the U.S. Open or you're going to going watch the Going tomorrow US Open? to the U.S. Open. Taking mom. Taking mom, right. mom night out to the U.S. Open. I'm excited. So U.S. Open, huge event going on in New York City right now. Serena Williams, if you are a sports fan, this is her final professional event. There's a massive amount of interest in that. But the best male tennis player in the world, Novak Djokovic, is not able to enter the country because he has not gotten his COVID shot. Now, he played last year despite not having the COVID shot. He was also not allowed to play in Australia. And Peter Ducey... Well, he said, look, there are constantly people walking across the southern border. This is a point that we have discussed on this show. I've talked about it on Fox News. And Peter Ducey decided, I'm going to grill Corinne Jean-Pierre about this hypocrisy. He's kind of just well. asking her quite, let's be honest, yeah. like grilling is more, this is just, hey, can you answer a question? Basic question. It's a massive hypocrisy that's going on here. You can't fly into the United States unless you have gotten the COVID shot but they don't care at all about anybody walking across the southern border illegally. They get right into the country without needing to have a COVID shot. Corinne Jean-Pierre was asked to try to explain that discrepancy. Listen. How come migrants are allowed to come into this country unvaccinated, but world-class tennis players are not? Are you you're talking about which world-class tennis player? Novak Djokovic. So as far, <laughs> you know, just to just 
since you asked about me about him, you asked me about him. So visa records are confidential under U.S. law. Uh, therefore, the U.S. government cannot uh, discuss the details of individual visa cases. Uh, due to privacy reasons, the U.S. government also does not comment on medical information of individual travelers as it relates to uh, the tennis, uh, the tennis play, uh, player. Look, uh, those the questions regarding vaccination requirements is is is. I defer you to CDC. This is a CDC uh, requirement for foreign nationals. Uh, this is something that they decide. Look, this is this is just dodging so bad. There's, there's no so way. Bad I, I refuse to believe she doesn't know who Novak Djokovic is. But, but, but also put that, put that well, aside for a second. I mean, Clay, this is a policy issue. Everyone knows you can't come into the country under the Biden administration's current um, rules unless you're vaccinated. Right. Yeah. So just speak to the fact that you don't allow people into the country who are trying to come here legally, who are trying to do something that in the case of Novak Djokovic generates millions and millions of dollars of, of revenue for vendors and for you know TV rights and everything else. And if you are one of the almost five million, I mean, we talked about this number yesterday, just so everyone understands. It's about five million people who have come into the United States illegally since Joe Biden came into office. Let's put this into, into perspective. For about the last 20 years, we have been told that roughly 11 million people, certainly the last decade, 11 million people are in the United States illegally. Nobody who's coming into the country illegally right now under Biden has any intention of leaving, nor are they being, being yes. made to leave. We have probably, in two years of Joe Biden being president, upped the illegal population in this country by 50 percent, give or take. That is a massive number. They do not want it to stop. We should be having a conversation in this country about honing in on our legal immigration system. Is it skills and merit based? Are we taking the, the best and the brightest from all over the world, bringing people here who are going to add to the economy, create jobs right away? Or are we doing chain migration and v, you know visa lotteries and all? Forget. It. I mean, we're not even having that discussion. We're trying to say five million illegals. Every border state should obviously be making this a centerpiece of the campaign for the fall. I know some of the candidates we have from Arizona are, but Clay, it affects the whole country. It's yeah. crazy. Five million buck to put that into perspective is the state of Alabama's population roughly. So you went to Alabama. Anybody who's ever driven through the state of Alabama. There are around a little bit more, I think, than 5 million people is, my, is the number that live in Alabama. So we have effectively filled up the entire state of Alabama with illegal immigrants. That's 5 million people. Just think about it. If you've ever been to that area, if you've ever driven through it at all. The other point here, Buck, is Novak Djokovic is leaving. He's not staying in the United States. He's specifically coming in for a purpose to play tennis, and then he's departing, and Corinne Jean-Pierre's answer there is indefensibly bad because, think about this, Buck, Novak has said it publicly. He's not getting the COVID shot, explained why he isn't. He's put out on social media that he's not allowed to enter the United States, that he otherwise would go. So her attempt to say, we don't comment on visa requests, we don't comment on specific medical decisions because of privacy issues, when you come out and speak to it, I'll give the White House I'll give the White House permission. I'm not COVID vaccinated, right? I didn't get the COVID shot. The White House can talk about me not getting the COVID shot as much as they would like. I give them my permission. I guarantee you that Novak Djokovic would have been fine with Corinne Jean Pierre discussing what he has publicly acknowledged for months, if not years, about the COVID shot and also his desire to come here and play. It's such a slap in the face as well to the American people when you see that illegal migrants, there's constant excuses being made by Democrats. And it's not because they're such nice people. It is because they believe there is political advantage in this for them over the long yes. term, which we'll return to in a second. But I, I just there's this issue of covid shots and, and who can come into the country, which which you're um, expanding on, Clay, for everybody with the jo uh, Djokovic situation. Do You see this thing about how on eBay they're going to basic unless you give them your I think it's your social, basically your taxpayer identification. If you've sold more than I think it's five or six hundred dollars of stuff, they're going to free. They're going to freeze your account because they want to start taxing all of this. Right. They, they're cracking down on everybody in every way. Where, where do people think 
the 75 or 85,000, 85,000 IRS agents. What do they think they're going to be doing? They're going to be yeah, squeezing look. people for more money. So the people who are here illegally are getting ready for a full-on Biden administration IRS deep dive into their lives while the people who come here illegally are being given state benefits. They're being given uh, a pass on any number of federal crimes if they stay here, document fraud, etc. cetera. I, it's, it's outrageous, but they've really become, this is what everyone has to realize, illegal migrants in America are now a protected class. They, they yeah. go alongside. And if Democrats could, I bet they, you know, they would add them to civil rights law. As people that break our laws, come here in violation of laws, we need to give them special privileges and rights. Because it's so unfair that they had to break our laws to be here, Clay. We got more, uh, another clip. Corinne Jean-Pierre uh, asked by Peter Ducey, same press conference, about people literally walking across the border and she seems to have no idea, Buck, that this is actually going on. She could follow Bill Malusian. She could put on Fox News for five minutes uh, at any given time. There's constant video of migrants walking into this country. But the cluelessness and or the ineptitude of this answer even was staggering for KGP, who is awful. Listen, somebody unvaccinated comes over on a plane. You say that's not OK. Somebody walks into Texas or Arizona unvaccinated. They're allowed to stay. But, Why? But that's not how it works. Yeah. Like we actually no. Well, I know that that's not what you guys want to happen, but that is what ha what is happening. But that's not. It's not like somebody walks over and <laughs> that's not that's, that's not how. That's exactly what's happening. We well, thousands of people are walking in a day. Some of them turn themselves over. Some of them are caught. Tens of thousands a week are not. That is what is happening. Th that is what is happening. She said I, I, that's not what happened. Like, I mean, how, how clueless is she? But, but the, the Biden administration has no good. They just don't want anyone paying attention to this. That's right. Everyone across the country needs to know while you're while you're getting ready for that special visit from the IRS with the expanded uh, taxation regime that Biden's put in place to pay for the Green New Deal stuff, the windmills that we need so badly while Europe is having a massive energy crisis unfold. While all of that is going on, I have seen this, Clay. I've been there. There are, it's not, it's not here and there, hundreds and hundreds of people at a time will wave down Border Patrol and say, um, I, I'm here to claim asylum, effectively. Sometimes they even have a little piece of paper they read off of, you know, to make sure that I, I have a credible yeah. fear of persecution. I'm here to claim asylum. And then their stepping into the country is illegal, by the way. That act is, act is a violation of law. But then they go into the asylum process. They are literally waving down Border Patrol. And saying, and here I am, right across the and board. bring me a sandwich and some water because I'm hungry. That is what happens every day. All, and this is what these are the rules the regime has in place. This is what Border Patrol has to do. To be fair to Karine Jean-Pierre, she did address the issue of illegal immigration a little bit more. Um, she doesn't seem to know who Novak Djokovic is. Uh, will not weigh in on which whatever. Maybe doesn't she's seem not, to understand how people come across the border, which is it doesn't, problematic. Doesn't seem to understand immigration policy or COVID uh, vaccine mandate policy for international travel. But but she did tell everybody, don't worry. Yeah, sure. There's like five million illegals who have come into the country in the last two years. But Biden totally has a plan. It is not that simple. It's not just that people are walking uh, across uh, across the border. We have a, we have a, a plan in place. Uh, this is not like switching the, the, the lights on. Right. This is going to take a process. We are fixing a broken system that was actually left uh, okay, by the so last administration. I, I just want to be clear. <laughs> First of all, they as we said, they are just they are literally walking across the border and saying, here I am. It I've also it. was not it, a broken system, Buck. Yeah, it was well working know, well Trump under Trump. Yeah. Well, but see, here's the point. To them, it's broken because the point of the system is to create more Democrat voters. That's the actual point of the immigration system as Democrats see it, um, which is why they like illegal immigration so much, because what is their plan to deal with illeg illegal immigration? Amnesty. That is the plan. That is the only plan. There is no other plan that Democrats have in mind for this. What happens if all the Hispanic voters continue to break Republican? Let's hope does that that the, happens in this midterm. I mean, I'm, I'm, and what, but if it does, does it change the calculus of how aggressively Democrats are in favor of illegal immigration? I mean, just 
if it goes to where it's 50-50, let's say, right? 55-45, where there's not some massive advantage to them. I'm genuinely curious whether the politics angle there will change. I don't think it'll change for Republicans. The position is just, hey, we have a border. We should enforce the border and make sure. I mean, Trump used to say we want a big wall with a great gate, right, to allow the best possible uh, immigrants into the country, skilled uh, the the argument I've always liked is we want the NBA draft lottery of immigration, take the best and brightest of all the world and bring them in here legally so they can start businesses, so they can take advantage of American yeah. options. That is not but what's I, happening I, I at do. the southern border. It's whoever shows Correct. up, including people with backpacks or trucks full of fentanyl. That's what's happening. Correct. Yeah. And everyone who is coming in at the southern border, which to me is one of the great uncovered stories, period, also cartel. 